Hi, it's Mr. Collie here, and in these few videos, we're going to look at making your micro bit show little pictures using the LED screen. A bit like this gentleman here is doing with a little smiley there. So I'm going to, I'm at the micro bit website, I'm going to create code, and I'm going to use the block editor, so I'll choose new project. So it loads my new project, and it gives me a new name, it's called this one Wonderful Script. Just going to change the name of that. Um, I'll call mine simple image. There we go. So, to create an image, what we've got to do is go to our images section, like so, and I'm going to use this create image block here, like this. And all you've got to do is tick the LEDs or tick the numbers or the coordinates of the boxes where you want the lights to show. So I'll make a little heart like this. So I'm ticking all the lights I'd like to show. Done that well enough. There we go. I could colour it in. In fact, I will colour it in like that. So that's going to be a as decent a picture of a heart as I can get for a five by five grid. Um, but what we need to do now is we need to give this image a name. We need to give it a, a label, basically. And to do that, we use a variable. Excuse me, I'll just zoom in and out again. Um, so I'm going to click on variables. And I'm going to use this set item. And I'm going to hook it onto my create image. Now, a variable in computer programming is what we call... Um, a variable basically is where we save some data in a computer program. It could be your score as you're playing a video game. It could be how many lives you've got left. In this case, we're attaching the data for this image, basically saying this image looks like this, to our variable called item. But item's not a brilliant name for it, so I'm going to drop that down and rename the variable, and I'm going to call it heart. Okay. So, I've created a variable called heart, and in that heart variable I have saved the picture, or the pattern on the, on the LED display, of my heart. So wherever the computer program sees this name heart, it will know to refer back to this pattern. So what we have to do now, in my images command, is basically show image blank at offset zero. This offset zero basically means that the image won't be moved across or down any pixels. It'll just be shown exactly as it appears here. It won't be shunted across or down. Um, and it says show image, so I'm going to use my variables name, and you'll see I've got heart there now. So show image heart at offset. I've got a really sensitive zoom on this mouse, I do apologise. Offset zero. There we go. Even if I'm clicking, it's zooming in and out on me. So, what will happen is, when I click Run, the computer will say, Show image, it's called heart. Right, well, where's the variable heart? Okay, I'll look over here. This is the variable heart, and attached to that is the picture that looks like this. Okay, that's fine. But, it probably won't show for very long. To be honest, I don't know, because I've not tested this. So, let's give it a whirl. Let's run it. There we go. Ah, so it just shows forever, it does the opposite of what I was thinking. So show image at offset zero. So that is how to um, create an image that shows on your micro bit. Again, remember if you don't know how to get that downloaded onto your micro bit, go to my micro bit basics shoot, uh, playlist and look at video two. That will show you how to get this program off your computer and onto your micro bit. In the next video, we're going to look at how to make it flash.